It's a lot of points. Five points here. Okay, next one. Easy rank four games <laughs> so far. Maybe I, I'm also finding a lot of Skeletal because uh, Skeletal is the weakest faction. So all the Skeletal players are stacked in low ranks. <laughs> Let's say something like that. Okay, monster experimenting with the tribe. Human. With the fruits of his git, um, I expect something strange here. Again, blue coin. Definitely want to mulligan this one away. All the other cards seems fine. The mulligan one dried caress. But the real uh, question is what am I looking for? The mulligan the oak critter, which are the mulligan fodder. Definitely Haral Gore because I don't want to uh, use it now. Now we have the Predatory Die, which is very problematic. But we can uh, try to get that I must with the Elven Scribe. I don't know if he's playing a lot of specials, to be honest, because with Fruits of Isgit, usually you want to thrive a lot. And here, I don't think I have any choice but to win round one and to push deep round two to force out the... Um, not the Kiki, more the Koschi. Okay. Yes, here the Pavko Gale is a must. Otherwise, I will... Uh, I will get wrecked. Now, I don't want to use the tactical advantage on the Pavko. Because it is possible that he is playing also something like uh, the Heatwave. Problem is that if I don't use the tactical advantage, I need to use a char leader charge. And the leader charge means that uh, the Pavko stays under the Parasite. So I fear I need to risk uh, to be getting get, uh, Heatwaved. Let's see. Let's see what, from what happened from here. Now we invested a very big tool, to be honest. Avco for round three would have been uh, very, very big. But uh, I think we really need to win round one here. And Pavko can definitely... Uh, make them possible, make it, make it possible. Problem is that I don't have also a Dryad. Also, only the Fove is a Dryad and I... I would like to not use it right now. But I will need to do it. So we are playing... Another sage just passed from here. We try to use uh, still uh, as little as possible. Okay. So we'll get rid of the necker. Then we will go definitely forward because it opens up uh, it opens up uh, our dried caress. I mean, I cannot play the dried caress. I can play the shaping nature. I would rather not, to be honest, because I don't think this is a very good echo card. Um, if we put uh, on top of our deck and we want uh, to find uh, something else for the for the around the two, especially for the bleed. I don't want to mess up our, with the draws. I can definitely go for the Fove. Get some very cheap stuff, like the tempering. Go for the Fove. Will help uh, make it stick. Now, if he plays the... If he plays the Geralt... I'm in trouble, okay. We cannot do much there, but we can definitely match uh, this uh, Witch Apprentice with uh, our Pavko. Now we can also... Go 
go for the wandering treant here. I don't know, I don't have that many points, but the two scribes uh, will do their job. And I think this is mostly uh, proactive. So next one, we will use the Dryad Caress on uh, the Fove uh, herself. So that... Uh, okay. Now, the real question is um, 35 points is a little bit too much. You can also go for the um, shaping nature, to be honest, to try to get the five points of uh, the five points of uh, vitality. You have a lot of points here, but we cannot lose, uh, cannot lose. Uh, this round so maybe we will uh, also need to invest the Francesca we can also get rid uh, of one witcher apprentice with the forest protector we can also play the Francesca immediately which is not bad by itself we are still ahead we invested uh, a lot more than him. She who knows. Okay. Definitely I want to hit uh, her. Also because we cannot do anything else. The problem is also that we do not have any rebuke actually. We don't have any rebuke. So we hit her. We can also go for the Gezras. It's a little bit an overcommitment, to be honest. I can definitely see myself going for the Shaping Nature first. Shaping nature first, get the 5 vitality here. Get a lot of points over there. <laughs> if he has the um, Geralt, then we are done. This is very good for us, to be honest. This is very good for us. And now... The Francesca is uh, ticking, and say. So we can put a couple more points into the Wandering Treant right now. Couple more points here. And another two points here. He probably wants to go deep, but we have also the Francesca. Okay. So right now need to go for this and I fear we need to go for the Gezras means that we have three six seven eight can mess up now with Gezras and the next one will be at the sorceress of the Blatan Or we can go with for uh, two sorcerers of Dolblatana, which is also good. We probably force him out, and we have the Gezras uh, for the bleed. Not very good though. Sorcerers of Dolblatana, play the sorceress. Then we play another sorceress. The important thing here is to get the points, and then we will get a lot of points with the sorceress. Sorceresses. He is still going on. So we, we will see, we will see. I think we can get rid of the she who knows. Now we just ping once. Get. Uh, Okay, I think I will get the Circle of Life, to be honest. 
for the waylay. Now it's just circle of life uh, to here. Get some more points uh, even here. And uh, we can go for another circle of life for a waylay. Another circle of life is fine. For me is that we need to, to use the forest protector here. Use the forest protector. This is a dry scares, okay? So the more points here uh, is the tempering or even dry scares. Nice the tempering. Go for the tempering. We invested a lot of points, but um, I think it's worth. I think it's worth because um, yeah, we cannot uh, we cannot manage a Koshi. Okay, problem is that now we cannot manage anything. We manage the Koshi with the Nature's Rebuke. In a short round, he has more points than us. Rexenet is fine, but this is not definitely a hand to put. Definitely not a hand to push. I think I need to just uh, dig deep for good cards right now. Okay, definitely not a very good hand to um, bleed. And with the Gezras here. Now we will risk to... We can try to force out the thing. Problem is that uh, he played quite a few cards. A few good cards. I don't know, maybe a long round we can still manage to do something more. Uh, we still have the Rising Ring Council, we still have the Eighth Name. Edo Regare is out, so it means he has a handful of golds. We need a Nature's Rebuke for the first Koschi. If he plays one. Definitely do not need the Oak Critters. We have two Nature's Rebuke that maybe are the best options right now. We can mulligan only the tempering. And we find the Isengrin Council. So we go Frexen at first, then Hamadryad, then Gezras. Maybe also Gezras first. Okay, there is the Idaran. Gezras first, I. Gezras first is. Uh, I, I, I guess it's something that we must consider. We didn't taint the mutation process. Gezras first, we adapt to the situation. Okay, we didn't hit the, the right one, but you have the Nature's Rebuke here. Okay. And the more we wait, the more he will do points. Uh, I think uh, right now we will play a Koschi. Mm. We will try to go like this. I don't think this will be very good, but um, I don't even think that we can answer everything. 
we just wait and hope that he will fill uh, all the rows uh, too quickly. Come to me, little one. Okay, we need to play for what we have. Okay, okay. Definitely too many points. So we just play for this immediately. No mercy. As we play for the eighth now here. We don't care about getting uh, other uh, points into the vitality. We will just play for uh, the to fill the row, his row. Now, if he has uh, the heat wave, we are completely screwed. If not, we can maybe even win. Okay, so now we have um, five points here. And we win, guys. Very, very nice game. Very, very nice game. We really adapted here. So by not uh, countering them uh, directly, but by countering them, uh, letting them overswarm. Very, very good. Uh, very, very good game.